ladies and gentlemen i welcome all to my channel i am razia kali today let us see about a, a hot topic uh, the central government has passed three criminal laws one is uh, known as uh, bharatiya uh, Su uh, suraksha sangeetha and the second one is bharatiya nyaya sangeetha and the third one is bharatiya saksiya adhiniyam the three acts were passed by the parliament in the year 2023 and it has been uh, put into force from 1st july 2020, 2024 now there are objections uh, from advocate side and also from various uh, sources and now one of the case has been filed in the high court of madras wherein the names uh, they have challenged the names of the three acts and they have stated that these names are not in english language and this uh, words are from Samsk sanskrit or in hindi so the uh, and they have said all the they also stated that this uh, under article 348 of the indian constitution the language of the, um, the language of uh, the language of the uh, acts and bills should be in english and it uh, so the these three these words sanskrit words and hindi or hindi words are violative of the, this article provision and so they have uh, they sought a direction from the high court to struck down this law so this is a position for which the central government advocate general mr yal sundareshan appeared and gave an explanation saying that the act were passed only in english language and the all the uh, on the on the even in the for the names the, the names are only nouns and uh, only uh, english letters were has been used uh, to write down the names of these three acts so all the three acts were have been uh, all the only english letter has been used and all the three uh, acts names have been written only in english letters and so these were these are the and so the, the, these are also english words like what the central government has advocate um, mr yal sundareshan has submitted as uh, explanation and the court has uh, directed the uh, government to file a report, uh, written statement uh, written submissions so and the case adjourn the case uh, under this circumstances we are uh, discussing the uh, what the law says what is the law on this topic and we are going to discuss that uh, the laws with respect to these issues and uh, let us see one by one the article 348 of the uh, the chapter 3 of the indian constitution speaks about the language of the supreme court high court and also about the languages to be uh, used for the acts and bills to be passed by the parliament as well as the uh, state judicial assembly so the uh, as the, uh, the act uh, the relevant provision namely the section 348 of the uh, act reads as follows language to be used in supreme court and in the high courts and for acts bills etc notwithstanding anything in in the foregoing provisions of this part until parliament by law otherwise provides all the proceedings in the supreme court and in every high court all and um, uh, all the the authorities texts of all bills to be introduced or amendments thereto to be moved in either house of parliament or in the house or either house of the legislature of a state shall be in english language so this provision so actually this article 348 says that the language of the supreme court uh, the language to be used in the supreme court and the high court should, shall be in english in addition to that all the bills to be introduced or amendments that to to be moved in either house of the parliament and in the legislature of the state shall be in english language so the language should be in english like what the article uh, 348 of the uh, indian constitution stipulates now the central government attorney uh, general attorney uh, solicitor general has replied that these uh, words the the namely uh, the bharatiya nagarik suraksha sangeetha bharatiya nyaya sangeetha bharatiya saksha adhinam were only uh, were english words english letters that alone is used and it is only a noun so so for a noun uh, uh, this is the name is only a nothing but a noun and so uh, and for that also only english letters has been used therefore it is also in it is also in english 
not a some sanskrit or hindi like what they has advanced an argument and explanation to the court now the question is uh, whether such type of uh, um, um, uh, the, the court will accept this judgment this type of explanation or uh, uh, reject the judgment that is that that further thing we have to wait and see the judgment but regarding the my my, uh, my humble uh, my opinion is that uh, um, this uh, the central government may voluntarily may come forward uh, and they may understand the difficulties of a lawyers of, uh, judges and officers and even the policemen uh, who will find it very difficult to pronounce these words because this is not a uh, uh, english words uh it will be it will be difficult for uh, each and every one to uh, pronounce and accommodate and practice and to implement this words uh, because it will it is not it is it is since it is not in english language so uh, so if uh, for uh, for, the, for the purpose of uh, convenience and for the welfare of uh, uh, the people the government itself may come forward and they may come forward and they may correct the name and they may uh, uh re- uh, rewrite the, the they may put uh, some english words so that is uh, simple uh, english simple words which is um which is easy for each and every person for the day to day practice if a such type of approach is made by the government then everyone will give due respect not only to the uh, court but also give due respect to the government and to the present uh, politicians but instead of that they have chosen to fight it out in the court of law uh, saying that they are right and they they, they have you use only the english language like what they have submitted the document but let us see what is the law uh, what is the constitution says about these things so regarding this thing the words the the 348 Uh, uh, article 348 1b says that the authoritative text of all bills and uh, sh- uh, all bills should be shall be in english so the wording used is authoritative text now we have to see what is the mean by text and what is mean by authoritative text so the act does not say uh, that the all the heading should be in english or the each and every words uh, uh, each and every words uh, of the bill should be in english The, the the article the, the article this article uh, 341b only say the authoritative text so now so now the now what is mean by authoritative text that is the main argument which will be uh, uh, which will be in the final hearings of this case so the as far as the text text is concerned uh, the simple meaning which is mentioned in the uh, concise uh, concise Oxford Dictionary, Little Dictionary says that noun text means noun, main part of the book or original document. Like what it says, the advanced, uh, in the advanced, uh, uh, advanced, uh, advanced learners, Oxford Dictionary says the uh, meaning uh, gives the meaning as if text means main or main written or printed part of a book or text or page. So main written or printed part of a book or page, like what it was mentioned. in another uh, dictionary which is uh, that is this is uh, oxford uh, encyclopedia dictionary it has it, the word uh, uh, text has been uh, given a meaning that wording of uh, of wording of anything uh, written or printed so it simply says that wordings the text means wordings now if it is so dictionary if it is so the central government may come make an ad- advance an argument saying that uh the uh, this provision this article only speaks about the main main words not the headings it, it does not say that the heading should be in english or each and every part of the uh, act should be in english and every sentence of the um act should be in english or every paras of the um paras of the act should be in english and each and every uh, word single word should be in english like what Uh, the uh, act, uh, the article of our constitution did not say so. It is not violative of our article. Like what they, the federal government may advance the argument. Another point is that the not uh, in the if you go through this article, the article not only says that the um, uh, text uh, text should be in English. Uh, they 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 have they have used the word authoritative text. The, then now it the ground now the question will arise. 
what is meant by authoritative text so authoritative text means then the the operative portion of the text like what they may advance an argument if such type of, so so they may central government the predators or the advocate general may advance an argument saying that only the authoritative text alone was discussed in the uh, article 348 of the constitution so the article 348 of the constitution has uh, to, uh, speaks only about the authority text not uh, about each and every word or not about each and every sentence or not about each and every uh, headings of the act so this uh, this article as far as this uh, article is uh, as far as the article is concerned the, uh, the authority text alone uh, should be in english uh, like what the, uh, the the constitutional framers has expected from the, the legislative legislative assembly so like what we have we are we have we have all the operative portion and authority text of all the three acts were in english words like what they have uh, like what they have put an advance argument in the court so for those things we have to wait and see what type of uh, um, argument is advanced by our uh, government and how they are going to reply uh, like what we have to wait and see so the, this is the position case position um, um, uh, uh, which and uh, so if the uh, advocate gen uh, solicitor general or the central government advance uh, argument like this uh, there is a scope that uh, they may succeed in their uh, uh, stand in addition to that they have put another uh, important plea saying that uh, the uh, the legislative uh, parliament has uh, uh, authority to decide the name and they they they, uh, they cannot the court cannot interfere uh, the authorities of the legislative parliament uh, and the parliament has every right to um, decide what type of name should be uh, given to a particular act and so the central the court cannot uh, take the authorities of the uh, parliament and the court may not decide how what type of name should be uh, uh, fixed for a particular act this is a this this, this type of argument is nearly a worthable argument and so as far as the legislative parliament is concerned parliament has every right and prerogative right to pass uh, acts bills and they have every absolute right to decide what type of uh, name should be uh, given to a particular act but uh, the, when, they, when they are passing this parliament act the our mps uh, members of the parliament ought to have adjudged, made this, uh, their submission they ought to have made their objections regarding these names and they ought to have suggested given a proper suggestion in the parliament itself before passing this act act, act to give a proper english word so that uh, it, this type of problem would not have arisen at this stage uh, but now we are in the, now now we cannot because the, the things which has gone is gone we cannot think uh, we cannot speak about those things now for the convenience you know uh, whether the court will decide uh, to give a, whether the court will give a direction to the government to change a name or uh, the court will accept the arguments of the advocate general that further thing we have to wait and see but uh, there are scopes there are scopes to the central government advocates uh, or advocate general as well as the general's argument saying that uh, the parliament has absolute right authority prerogative rights to decide their name and uh, regarding this uh, if you go through the meaning uh, meaning of the text also uh, the uh, the act say, the, the, the article was simply says that the authority text uh, the uh, article still speaks only about deals only about the authority text that the article did not space uh, say the, the article of the article 346 did, did not say that each and every word or each and every sentence and each and every paragraph and each and every headings and each and every words used in the heading should be in English. Like what they they did not say uh, in the um, this article 348, and they simply said that the authority text. They speak only about the authority text, and they have given stipulation only about about the authority text. So in that context, if they advance the argument, there is a uh, lot of chances to the central government to succeed in their case. But even if you succeed, my humble request to the central government and to the East please consider this as a uh, this is because this uh, this english this uh, sanskrit word or hindi words really gives difficulties not only to the advocate but also to the judges officers and to the police and so 
uh, you may directly come forward uh, and uh, and you may you may yourself correct the names in such a way that it is easy uh, comfortable convenient to not only to the advocate but also to all including police and public so this is my humble request so i request uh, through this video i humbly request the central government to consider as a request and to come forward to change the uh, name of the three acts in english uh, and you may simply you, uh, you may put instead of uh, you can instead you can say, say written the same name indian penal code 2023 Uh, india indian criminal procedure code 2023 and indian evidence act 2023 so that that will not give any sort of difficulty uh, problem inconvenience to uh, to the public in general so with this request i conclude my uh, speech thank you goodbye razia kali